Hello everyone, I am Diamond Watkins and I welcome you here today. I just want to talk about a few things. Um, when I woke up yesterday, the word God gave me is prayer is your posture. I want to talk about um, prayer. It's the most important part of your day, prayer. It's the most important part of your day. I'm looking this way, but I think the camera's right here. I don't know, I'm on my iPad, so I don't think I'm throw it out for something you know what i'm saying but anyway um i want to talk about you know prayer is our communication to god that is how we talk to god that is how god responds back to us he responds to us what responds to us through prayer amen hallelujah come on somebody um god is amazing he loves us very much he woke us up this morning he has a plan for your life. I don't care what it is you are going through. I don't care what it is you have done. God has a plan for your life. And don't you ever allow anyone in life to tell you anything different. That God doesn't have a plan for your life when he does. Amen. Um, I know sometimes life can be, you know, can throw us curveballs. Life can throw us curveballs. And we, you know, sometimes you, you, you be sad and you don't want to cry. Pray. Sometimes you be mad, you don't want to pray. Sometimes you be depressed, you don't want to pray. Sometimes you be feeling stressed out and you don't want to pray. But it's very important in the body of Christ, men and women of God, that we pray. We pray. We ought to pray more than we think. We ought to pray more than we worry. We ought to pray more than we stress. Because when we pray and we pray about things and we give it to God, that is allowing God to say, "Okay, I'll give me the give me your stress. Let me, let me give me your stress. I'm 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 gonna give you some joy. You you give me all your stress. You lay all your stress." That's the altar and i'm gonna give you some joy god don't want us to worry um about things god wants us to pray about everything it doesn't matter what it is um it doesn't matter what's going on prayer is very important prayer is very vital prayer can get your daughter saved your father saved your mother saved prayer can save your marriage prayer can save um can cover you going out your front door you know in the morning time it is very important that we cover our children because so many things are going on in this world you got children that's uh fighting and pulling up to people's houses and you know people throwing bleach on them people throwing hot water grease on them i, I know of a friend um a couple years back um some females came to her house to fight her and when she opened up her door she put hot gr i mean hot boiling hot grease on them so you know it, it, we have to be be careful and mindful of you know um um of, of not covering ourselves, not covering our loved ones, our children, our family, you know, prayer is very important and God likes it when we come to him. God likes it when we come to him and we pray. When we pray, we come to God and we sit down and we we we, we, we listen to what this says the Lord and we empty out our heart because sometimes our heart can be heavy. We can put on all the makeup we want to women. Men, you can go put on all the cologne and put on all the nice clothes you want to. But sometimes our heart be torn. Our heart be torn. Our heart be broken. Sometimes life can be, you know, overwhelming. Sometimes your bills hitting you back to back. Uh, your car acting up. You're, you're behind on your bills or um, in between jobs. You know, sometimes life be life in and um sometimes you you know you feel like you want to throw the towel in but you know god has a plan and we have to know that he is with us at all times he said that he will never leave us or forsaken us and we have to own his word having faith in god is believing that his word is true believing that everything that he wrote in this bible is true amen hallelujah um uh i tell people you know the more you pray more prayer more power a little prayer a little power so it's very important that we pray every single day god likes it when we pray god likes it when we come to him god likes it when we spend time with him there is no other place i would rather be than in the presence of the lord because god is always speaking reverb table outreach ministry but are you listening to what this is the lord some people are stuck right now because they're not praying you're not you haven't went to god for no answer you haven't went to god for confirmation sometimes we can make moves before god give us a give us permission to make moves like i have written two books there on amazon and people used to ask me all the time when are you going to release the book have you finished the book but i have finished the book it took me quite some time to finish the first book when I finished and completed my book, I still had to wait on God and ha I still had to wait on the Lord and wait for his permission for him to tell me that it was okay to go ahead and release the book. Because if we do stuff before the time and of God, it can be, um, it may not go as well. It may not sell as it should. It may not, um, 
it may not it may not be, you know, um, it may not go the way that we expect it to go because we was impatient and waiting on God. So, you know, um, it's good to go to God about even a job. Before you take a yes on a job, a job promotion, may, a job promotion, yes. It is very important that you go to God and you pray about that before you get into a relationship, before you even connect with an old friend from back in the day or whatnot. It's always good to go to God and pray about everything because I would, the Bible says that, God ways is God ways way is not our ways and his his God way is not our ways amen hallelujah so um Sometimes we can think someone is good for us or something is good for us and it's not. And instead of us going to the Lord, we just go out, step out and reach out and, and deal with that person again or step out and go to that. I mean, leave this this job and go to a next job, another job. But that's not may not be God's plan for our life. Amen. I'm getting tongue tied. May not be God's plan for our life. So it is very important to pray to God for everything about everything. Um we have to be wise in our decision making because um every choice that we make it affects who we are it affects who who we are it affects our children it affects um your your marriage it affects things around you it it affects your everyday life so it is very important to pray and allow prayer to be your posture for everything amen come on somebody i don't know about you but i'm in a season where i am praying about everything before i just move on my own and what's a lot of us on the other side of this broadcast that need to be, do the same thing you need to pray to god before everything before you give people your yes because once you give them your yes you can't take the yes back so um pray to God about everything even if even if you um even if you are uh, uh, are are uh, got your own ministry, or if you're writing a book, or if you um been invited to do a conference, if you have been invited to do a show, maybe you do poetry or whatever it is, even before you make that move, you need to go to God. God said that you need to come to Him and pray and wait for an answer. People think that God don't speak. He don't answer. Yes, he does. He talk. He has a big mouth. He talk a whole lot, but you have to be in a place where you are able to hear from God. So you may be able to discern, I am hearing from God and not from my flesh because we want to be led by God in this season. We are already at the end of the year. This is 2023. We are entering into 2024 and I believe we have like three weeks or so left or whatever. Um, before we enter into January 2024. So we need to be wise in our decision making and make our minds up and write down our vision for 2024. Pray over our vision and ask the Lord, Lord, how can I bring this vision to pass? Is this the vision, the vision that I'm writing down? Is this your vision that you have for my life? Because sometimes you can be going to the left when God, be want, God wants you to go to the right. So it is very important that prayer be your posture for everything. I'm talking about everything. Pray all day. Pray in the morning. Pray in the afternoon. Pray at night. Pray when you're going through it. Pray when your children are acting up. Pray when your husband acting up. Pray when your wife acting up. Pray when the people on your job is cutting up. Pray when you're in a restaurant and the and the, the person on the other side of the restaurant restaurant. It's having a bad attitude of being rude and mean pray. And we got to stay in a posture of prayer. We are to um, allow our life and our mind to align up with the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. It is very important in this season that we stay in the word of God because the, uh, the devil, he is a deceiver and he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He don't want you to walk out the calling that God has on your life. He don't want you to be happy. He don't want your children to, and you and your children to, to, to have a good day. You and your husband have a good day he's gonna come every day in shape some shape form or fashion so it is very important that we as children the team children and men of god um are in a in a place where we are where our life and our mind and our hearts and our prayer life is lining up with the word of god so um Make sure that you stay in your posture. Be prayer for everything. Don't you argue with nobody. Don't you fuss with nobody. Don't you be mean, mean or evil, mad at nobody. You go to God for everything. Pray about everything in this season. Man of God, woman of God, and don't you worry about nothing. And allow God to be God because God go before you. 
Amen. And he said that if he is with you, he is more than the world against you. And I don't know who can be better be for you more better than God can. Who can be your covering? Who can be your covering? Who can protect you? Who can love you? Direct you and give you the best instructions on life you can ever get is God. I'm Prophetess Diamond Watkins from Rebirth Table Outreach Ministry. And thank you for tuning in to Rebirth Table.